Welcome back to beautiful Banff National Park. Today I'm going to be showing you the number one sunset spot in the whole entire park and there's no hiking involved. We're actually going to be going up this mountain right here and behind me. One of my favorite things about Banff here is that everything's super close. We just cruised out after dinner time to Vermilion Lakes here. Just parked right by this spot, so if you want to hit a few spots in the same day, super easy. Especially fun if you have a bunch of friends, you can all cruise around and shoot your own shots, a bunch of different angles. And now we're going to be heading up to where I was saying to catch the sunset. Just rolled up to the base of the Banff Gondola. We're going to catch the gondola to the top of Sulphur Mountain. They've got a whole setup up there. You can get dinner and drinks, and there's a beautiful boardwalk, so I'll show you guys the ride up and uh, once we get to the top. like a 10 minute quick gondola ride, no hiking at all, like I said. And you're met with these epic Banff views. The whole entire Bow Valley and the Banff town site is right behind me. We got uh, Cascade Mountain over there, Banff town, and then the river cruising through there, the famous Bow River. But right now I'm just on the observation deck. Banff is known for insane wildlife, or especially Canadian wildlife, but it's not always that you get to see these guys up here. We've got a little group of bighorn sheep right below us actually, so I'll show you. To note, if you are coming up here, most of the summertime, it does drop a little bit in temperature when you get up to the top. We're here still at the end of May, so as you can see, there's like a lot of snow behind us. And it's actually a super calm night tonight, so we got really lucky. But if you are planning on coming up here pretty much any time of the year, it's good to bring a jacket with you or at least some kind of other layers because it's terrible when you get up top and you're freezing and you don't want to climb up to the top. Views just kind of keep getting better as you make your way up to the top platform where you get the 360 views. Actually, look at right here. Bighorn sheep, another one. Everything's wild out here too, so do be cautious with the wildlife. You don't want them to get hurt when you startle them or anything, and definitely do not feed the wildlife. End of the boardwalk here. It's a little bit further, but it's a super easy walk. There's just a few sets of stairs, and this is where you're gonna get the most beautiful views of the entire valley here. It's basically a full 360 view from the top here. And you're also met with a really cool fire lookout. So I'll take you up those last few steps. And the view is just about to go off. We've got a little bit of sunset colors and we're getting stoked. This has been another beautiful night up here. We're up at the very end point at the fire lookout, like I mentioned before. The kind of colors are fading a little bit on us, so we're gonna head down soon. But if you're ever in Banff and looking for a beautiful way to enjoy the sunset, especially if you don't wanna hike or if you just wanna do in a leisurely activity, this is one of the best spots and my number one sunset spot in Banff for that reason, just because of the ease of getting up here. You can get some of the best views in the Banff National Park just by a short gondola ride. A lot of the other ones take a lot of effort hiking and I usually like to do that myself, but when I'm coming out here to spend time with family or friends, or if you just want a little bit of a holiday, this is by far the best way. You can get 360 views and it's super easy. You're five minutes away from town and you're right up here at the top after a short walk. So if you ever get the chance, come check out the Banff Gondola and I'll be sharing some more spots around Banff over the next couple of videos. So keep an eye out for those. The sun is fading and we got to get down on that last gondola ride. So thanks for watching guys. Make sure to like and subscribe. Absolutely enjoying learning how to make these videos and sharing more of my adventures on YouTube here. It's a bit of a learning curve. So I hope you guys can bear with me as I kind of learn this skill and these videos are going to keep getting better. So watch for that and I'll see you in the next one.